<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the wacky wild world of Wobble Dogs, where we currently have our cranky Leafeon, a wonderful, wonderful addition to our caterpillar lineage of Wobble Dogs that we had going oh so long ago, coming back to celebrate episode dun 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 dun, dun 100! Woo! This is indeed episode 100 of the Wobble Dogs and where we are going to call it for season one. Don't worry, season two is literally just like gonna happen really soon. Oh, Leafeon, you managed to make your way into the Museum of Memories. What do you think about being here? I probably should like redo this area. Oh, geez. And here comes Sweetheart Tart. You've already made it all the way over here to visit the Museum of Memories? I am so freaking impressed. But yes, we are going to be celebrating episode 100 of our Wacky Wild Wobble Dog Adventures. I am stunned that it has been a year already of all of our wobbles and we have been having such a great time. We still don't have wings. We still don't have the dessert dispenser. So don't fear, we are going to be carrying on with season two. Just, I like to end it at 100 because it feels like a huge accomplishment, which it is. So today we're just gonna have some fun watching all of our dogs have a chance to play together again. We have connected up the little camping room with our jungle room, with the uh, River of Memories, with the Museum of Memories, aka the Crypt, with the gigantic room full of cocoons. Like look at all of these cocoons, oh my gosh. <laughs> Penafor seems like they are having a great time with the cocoons with the Pixel Puppy Labs. And I think we definitely will be spending some of our time in season one going through and trying to like, or season two, pardon me, going through and trying to tidy all of these things up, maybe adding in more rooms. I think I'm ready to let more random wackiness happen to our pups when we are not working on, you know, trying to unlock some of the achievements after all. And uh, on that note, I kind of want to let them all play together. It's been really fun to separate them when we have a certain experiment when we're trying to run, but it's also really fun just to see <laughs> how everyone ends up playing together. And I think Leafeon is just getting yeeted back and forth, back and forth. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. <laughs> But all right, so Celery, the fourth, is actually ready to go ahead and hatch, maybe into a lovely adult who can drop right on top of Pinafore. Yes! Oh, Celery, I have missed your tiny, tiny pea-sized nose. How have I forgotten about that? Oh my gosh. All right, guys, our multi-legged multi dogs are back. They are hopefully never going to have as many legs as Tika Rose and Rosebush did because it turns out if you have over 100 legs on your dogs, you can actually crash the game. Just saying. Uh, body girth has gone down. Snout rotation has gone up. And I think that our lovely Celery landed right on top of Pinafore and it was love at first sight because Pinafore actually laid an egg last time and I am so ready to see if we're going to get lucky enough with that randomness. So Pinafore, let me let me help you out real quick first though. Are you having a hard time? Pinafore, are you trying to find something to eat and you're just having a hard time? Here, let me give you some pets first. All right, we gave Pinafore some pets and now let's go ahead and we are going to actually try crossbreeding Pinafore and Celery the fourth so that we can have, hopefully, Celery the fifth. That tiny head, those adorable curly tails mixed together with the extremely tiny nose and big ears and multiple legs of our Celery. What are we going to get? Hmm, yes, let's go ahead and breed these guys. All right. Nervous, excited, hopeful, will it be wings? We'll have to see. All right, so let's see. We've got teeny tiny nose on this guy. I'm gonna see if we can push it this time. I have, well, I, I say we're gonna try to push the, the simulation stability because I think wings, you really have to get really low on the simulation stability to get. However, if I, I reserve the right to fall in love. I reserve the right to fall in love. And if I do, we're gonna keep the dog. We have passed up too many dogs where I was like, I'm sure I'll enjoy the ones that are coming up. And then I have just been full of like big rug rats, big, big rug rats, as my sister-in-law says. All right, let's try these two. We're getting some fun colors. Oh, look at those little funky curly tails. Oh my gosh, this tail is so curly. It's looping around itself. Okay, that is really cute. Okay. 
So come here, come here, come here. You are so cute and so precious. Oh my gosh, and I like this tail right over here. We got the teeny tiny nose. I really want to get the teeny tiny nose like carried on, but we'll just kind of have to see where things go. All right, let's let's look through the pile carefully. We got, I, I like this puffers. Hmm, do I want to go with the teeny nose crew? I think I want to go with the teeny nose crew, but I also really like the teeny head crew. Seeing where our experiments of science take us is always so exciting. Oh, this one's got teeny nose green body. Uh, we're, I think we have lost the multiple legs for now. So let's see if we can keep going. Okay, teeny head, teeny nose. Kind of really want that. I think it'd be cute. Oh, the curly tail. The tail that's curled over like a little Shiba Inu tail is back. Okay, I really do like that tail. All right, let's try mixing you two together. Oh, I like the one that's getting a little purple over here. All right, we've got some happy puppies. So we've got happy puppy over here. This one really resembles Pinafore. I'm gonna try mixing those guys. All right, we're out of the tiny heads. Unfortunately, we do have the really curly tails though. So why don't we just keep pushing for those like Almost like Shiba Inu curly tails and we'll see what we get. I Really oh look at that one. <laughs> oh I really do like that. We're going kind of in a new direction These guys are sort of reminding me of bananas with their coloration And this is the lowest we have been able to push the simulation stability in a long time and I love their, like, leopard spots. Ooh, that one's orange! Ooh, and that one's like a nice, pretty gold. All right, let's grab you. And then, let's see, let's grab you. We're starting to get kind of low. I need to keep an eye on these guys, because if I ignore the simulation stability for too long, I might miss out on a unique looking dog. Like, I've got to make sure I'm, I'm studying all the options. All right, come on, our episode 100 pup. Maybe I'll name it Centur like Centurion or something like that. Oh, this is a very tall like block of cheese pup. I love that, oh my gosh. All right, so let's select that one and this one. We're not at tiny litter yet, you guys. <gasps> we're gonna get below 100, what, like we're gonna get down below zero. We're gonna get down below zero. This is not a drill. All right, should I go for these two? I kind of like these two. We don't have any horns or anything just yet. Oh my gosh. Stability is getting lower. Okay. All right, I kind of like those two. <gasps> no, look at this tail! You guys, this is so different. I've never seen this tail before. It's like a little peacock tail. Oh, should we risk? Oh, it's got the tiny nose and everything. Okay, I'm so worried we're gonna lose that tail. We're getting it, we're getting it. Look at this, this is such a cool peacock tail. I'm 1000% bringing that little guy into my life. He feels like a golden crown achievement for our 100th episode of Wobble Dogs. Woo! Oh, I'm so tickled. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and invite the new, the, like, the new bean into the family. Uh, and we'll go ahead and hatch him down here just because maybe he wants a bunch of extra legs. Look at that tail! Oh, that's so cool. Pinafore, please stop throwing up. You're about to welcome a child into the world. <laughs> I understand you can't stop eating though. Maybe I should feed Pinafore just normal pellets because maybe that would help them like not throw up. And maybe I should put some more food in here. Oh, Leafeon, welcome. Oh gosh, and everybody else is getting ready to like mutate as well. This is so exciting. And we have so many of the special things. Uh, all of the, here we go. Citrus bean, would you please eat that ectoplasm before you're ready to puppate? Cause that might give you some really cool random mutations. There you are. Uh, but we have a whole bunch of capsules floating around that we will also open up to celebrate this newbie. Also, it looks like Joy and Sweetheart Tart are playing together. I didn't know I wanted that in my life, but I did. Oh, wow. All right, meanwhile, Sweetheart Tart, let's feed you one of your three heads at least. This coconut. Oh, I love our, our life, guys. Like, 
think about how amazing our days are. We get to spend all of this time helping out. Uh-oh. Rub, 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 rub. Go, 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 go. Phew! We get to spend all of this time doing science experiments and like helping out our little wobble dogs. This is so cute. MD Cloud Dots, you have definitely had enough to eat. The dogs love the dancing. They just love it. Oh, Joy really loves it. I really want to train Joy in bouncing because that's just way too precious. All right, and then let's go ahead and we'll pop bait Brizini as well. And then we will go ahead and hatch the newbie. Joy already has a bunch of great gut bacteria going on. <gasps> yeah, okay. So we'll go ahead and start like hatching some of these little ones because there's just a party happening right now. And then we'll hatch the newest addition to the family to celebrate our, <gasps> wow, citrus bean. You changed color a little bit, did you? Maybe not a teeny bit. Never mind. Wow, citrus bean. <laughs> Never mind. You look about the same, but shinier. They actually did get quite a bit glossier. Uh, and then we have all of these little ones to hatch. It does feel like a bit of a party. All right, sweetheart tart, let's go ahead and get you out, my dear. Wink. You good? <gasps> sweetheart tart's all grown up now and got really small. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Sweetheart Tart's body size went down by 20%, you guys. I love their pointy nose. I love their pointy nose. And they have gotten shinier. Oh my gosh, Sweetheart Tart. I really want to carry on that lineage. This is just so cute. It reminds me of Aussie, our three-headed... <gasps> Joy! Joy's color has completely changed too. Her leg color, her body color... Like her width and girth have also gone up. Her her snout length has gone up. She's shiny. Joy! Oh, she's such a happy adult. She's a young adult. And she's still got more to go. And look at her. She's just dancing. We're just bouncing. We're just having a great time. Like everybody is dancing. Okay, definitely want to teach Joy how to bounce because that's just way too cute. And she's teaching the other dogs how to dance. I'm really happy we put them all together now. That actually is bringing me a lot of joy. Pun, not really intended, just her name is Joy. And meanwhile, MD Cloud Dots continues to shift as they now grow into a very responsible adult with slightly more metallic patterning. There's definitely a little bit of a bigger head size, possibly because they learned a little bit more, we'll say. Oh, and they're actually walking a lot better than they used to. Huzzah, carry on, MD Cloud Dots. I'm glad you were able to go ahead and actually figure out how to use your legs. Also, watch out, Joy. And then we've got our little Brazilini. Brazilini, who really hasn't changed very much, but it's nice to have a short, squat, adorable little dog that just might, you never know what's gonna happen. Maybe she's going to actually end up puppating a lot, or maybe she's just gonna be the chill purple puppy who bounces everywhere. I, I also think that that's adorable too. But all right, now that we have done all of that, let's actually pop on over, see what's going on in here, and hatch. Dun dun dun, oh, so small! <laughs> Our new golden-tailed little pup, who is actually the 100th episode puppy. Definitely not the 100th puppy born. That We either have a lot more or a lot fewer than that. And I think we're gonna name you Sentry, uh, Sentry Feather? Why not Sentry Feather? Because we've got Feather Tails, you guys! <laughs> oh, look, and the first thing Sentry Feather does is go to hoard some toys and hang out with uh, Sweetheart Tart which is absolutely freaking adorable. But all right, so now that we have gone ahead and we have hatched a new one, we have actually gotten a beautiful, beautiful new tail that we're going to be admiring. Uh, let's go around and see if I can find all the capsules so that we can go ahead and try to open them and see what kind of special treasures our dogs have brought to the party. They are definitely happening. Like, look at this. We just have everybody like hanging out in here dancing. It's so cute. But let's see what treasures we have brought. Open capsule. Particle board wall. Fascinating, fascinating. And then over here we have got green screen wall. Okay, okay. That could be kind of fun. The area rug wall or area rug carpet, pardon me. 
Marble flooring. That could look kind of cool, I think. So much to clean up when we have a, a spare minute. And then there's another capsule back here for a soccer field. I want to make a soccer field for our pups. Also, hey, Miss Lily. Okay, Miss Lily, I cannot get you, like, memorialized in that spot. Can you be... Are you blocked? Is it too crowded back here? Miss Lily, it's too crowded. If you want to be memorialized as, like, an awesome ghost, you gotta scooch over a little. And Peepine! There we go. We'll give the ghost a chance to come out. Oh my gosh, Sentry Feather's already over here. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of impressed. That was really fast. And I'll memorialize all of the ghosts that I currently see, like, laying around. Just because, why not? Okay, so let's see. Do we have anything? We do indeed. Let's expel everything from the dens, just so I can see what's what. Pardon me, Leafeon. Green screen carpet. And then expel items. There was a lot hoarded in there. Wooden barrels, cool. All right, and I think that's, uh, unless there's something hiding in the den down here that we haven't checked in in the Pixel Puppy room in like ages, but I don't think there is. And I don't think I can get down there easily, actually. Oh, I think that's good. All right, you guys. Oh, look at little sentry feather. Hey, little guy, there's some ectoplasm. You want to try eating that? I can't wait to see how you're going to actually pup bait because you have... Oh my gosh, look at him. Look at him. I don't know what he was just doing. He's shaking it. He's shaking it. He's going to get it, you guys. Oh, and maybe he'll be good at helping us find some treasure. Can I teach him to dig? All right, sentry feather. Oh, good, good, good dig. Do it again. He's like, I really want to play with this. All right, do you want to dig again? You can try your best to dig. Oh, man, let's see if we can actually train him real fast in digging because I would love to have a treasure hunter. It actually looks like he's trying to dig up the grave of our previous dogs. <gasps> sentry feather. Did you seriously just get a new upgrade? We just got a new upgrade! A jungle den upgrade! Like what? What? Is that the one we currently have? Oh my gosh, that's so cool! I think it may be. So I think he just made it so we can have two jungle dens. Can I can I actually like upgrade this? <gasps> Yay! I didn't even know we needed that. I thought you just had the den upgrade for like forever. You are the perfect little treasure finder, little guy. You can hoard all the coconuts you want. Like, go for it. He's like, yeah, now I'm just going to sit. All right, and I wonder if we can have you... I, you don't want to dig now. Okay, I understand. You're just a puppy. <laughs> oh, oh, and there's another capsule. Peking dog wallpaper. Oh, that's so cute. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. We have a unique type of new dog. Joy is saying we need to put out some more food. All right, we'll finish up today by going ahead and I think I'll remove the core for now. Courage, you gotta go downstairs. We'll have like, whoops, sorry about that. Pinafore, didn't mean to. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and we'll have all the cores. I'll start migrating them to the crypt uh, and that's where the ghosts can hang out so that I can have a place where I know where to find the ectoplasm. But let's go ahead and we'll get a snack put out for the other dogs right now. Probably could use some food. Why not? And I put the suburban one out because why not? Uh, flat body, big tail. You know what? Why not? We'll just have a stack of pancakes. Because <laughs> that seems like something cute to be able to leave over here. There we go. Sometimes I think one of the most important things that Wobble Dogs has taught me over the last 100 wonderful adventures we have had include really being able to lean into the randomness of life, friends. That's really one of the core lessons that I have gained over the last 100 episodes. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to tell you a confession as we sit here and we have our little party. I originally did not want to play Wobble Dogs because I thought it looked too weird. I mean, puppies that like have gut flora changes i love studying gut flora but it just seemed really like i don't know about this i was very uncertain however one of our wonderful patrons named annie they really suggested like i promise siri it's super fun i really think you'd love it and you know annie has good taste so i decided all right we'll give it a try and little did i know 
that here I would be, less than a year later, with 100 adventures in Wobble Dogs, completely and utterly in love. And I really feel like I, I overlooked it, I turned it down at first. Also, why is everybody... <laughs> I wanted to have all of the dogs enjoy like being with the memorials, but they're getting stuck on them. So we're gonna have to reassess this. But I really did want to like... I was worried. I was like, this this seems like a weird game. I don't think I would have fun. Um, and what I learned from Wobble Dogs is that I was actually lying to myself. I actually did think it was going to be fun. I actually did think I was going to have a good time. But I was really nervous to share with everybody, like, this goofy, fun game. Looks like it's going to be awesome and I want to play it. I let myself tell myself that I had to like live up to to some concern of what people would think if I had fun with this, what they would think if I spent my days feeding dogs coconuts and the heads of their parents and watching as they mutated into like three-headed wonders. <laughs> And what I really should have done is just been true to my own sense of curiosity. <gasps> Congratulations, Dr. MD Cloud Dots! We will definitely give you a new baby next time. But I should have been true to my sense of curiosity and play and just had fun with things. Because sure enough, doing those things, like just playing, just, just giving in to like what happens if I mix this dog and this dog, completely had a huge effect on me. So I know this seems really random, but literally playing Wobble Dogs taught me some really important things. It taught me that yes, 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 it is so vital to be honest with ourselves about what we really enjoy in life. And it taught me that being super curious about things and doing things that seem super silly, and I am nervous to do because I'm worried that people will think that I am like a dork, are totally worth putting our hearts into and they're totally worth experimenting with. I, I know that, again, I don't know if I can get this point across properly because it, it was so big for me, but at the time when I was like getting ready to play Wobble Dogs, I was so worried that everything I did had to like, had to be something that people would be happy with. And Wobble Dogs is really the moment where I realized it doesn't matter what people think. I'm having so much fun right now. Whoop. Bye, Leafeon! And that, more than anything, really, really just had this tremendously huge effect on how the last year has actually gone for me. There's so many more games I have played because I remembered how much fun I had when I took a chance on Wobble Dogs and just did the thing that seems silly and fun and random. And there's so many more things I actually do in my real life now where even now at like 34, I will get stressed about like, oh no, what will chips think? Or, oh no, what will like my friends or family think if I like wanna go strawberry picking or if I wanna like, a play with some paint this afternoon or if I want to get this adorable plushie and I don't know just the last oh another dog egg the last year and for some reason oh more dog eggs and more capsules and graffiti wall cute but the last year and for some reason the last year of playing wobble dogs in particular just really drove home have fun just have fun just like live my life have fun, go for it, Be do those experiments, do those messy, playful, colorful things where you're like, I don't think somebody my age, or I don't think that like I normally would do this uh, if people were watching. Just have fun with life. And it, it has actually had a huge effect on me. So I know that's really random. <laughs> <laughs> and I meant to make that a lot more brief than it ended up coming out. I was just gonna be like, yeah, guys, just be playful and have fun. But legitimately, the more I thought about it, the more I realized, actually, this last year, because I started playing Wobble Dogs, I've actually made a lot of other big changes that I didn't realize started because of the seeds of Wobble Dogs, but it did. But I've made other big changes in my life where I'm not afraid to admit the things that bring me joy anymore. And I'm willing to go ahead and I'm willing to stand up for those. Whoops, I did not mean to feed the dog poop, but here we have it. <laughs> oh my gosh. But all right, so yeah, I'll try to put that into better thoughts. <gasps> and we have an arcade cabinet. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. We'll have to go ahead and put that in the Pixel Puppy Lounge. But yeah, so that was very random. Um, but legitimately, 
The silly, colorful playfulness of all the dogs helped teach me that life feels so wonderful when you're just honest about the things that bring you joy. And I don't ever want to lose that again. All right, Citrus Bean, come on out and finish us off for season one. Whoops, Citrus Bean! You're huge! <laughs> All right, I actually got Citrus Bean mixed up with Sentry Feather because uh, I thought Sentry Feather was there, but it was another sea dog. <gasps> Joy! And look at how Joy has gone full circle. I have no idea what has even happened to her face. It's so cute. Joy literally looks like the embodiment of Joy. Snout size randomly mutated way down into a completely different feature than we normally don't have. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. I'm so happy to be doing this with you guys. And Brazilny. Still about the same. I like that. I like that though. Never change. And then finally, Sentry Feather, finish us off, take us home. And we've got the tail! <laughs> Still more of the same, but we'll have to see where things go with Sentry Feather. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like to celebrate 100 Wobbly Dog episodes. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious, and I will see you guys very soon for the start of season two of our adventures with our little Wobble Dogs. Bye bye